withdrawable so the main uh, function is feature is or you can say benefit that means it's very easy to do the maintenance whenever you want to do the maintenance you can record maintenance you can say yeah. you can record you can put a padlock to ensure that the the people who are working on the panel they are safe and then you can proceed so related to that one it has a many safety features also so right now this is in the correct position means our Uh, is it the terminal or can I keep the bus bar? It's ready for the operation. You have a position indicator here. This shows connect, test, and disconnect. So connect means our this is fully connected to the terminal. Test means our main uh, contacts are disconnected, but our control is connected. So the purpose and the benefit of the test position is that in case you did some maintenance, you want to ensure, but you don't want the power to flow in the panel. So you can keep the ECD in the test mode, and you can verify the operator, like on off operation. Only two people. Yeah. And then this can this can at least putting the breaker isolated. So here is the procedure that how you can uh, rack in and rack out the ECD. Plus you have the counter also. How many operations the breaker has has been done? So this is the sequence of operation. So first you need to ensure that you have your breaker is off. So it is showing the finger there, pointing here. So the breaker is open now. Take out this lever. Fourth step, we have to lift this up. So it, it will disengage the on-off mechanism, and then can pull it out. So now this mechanism is off. This is the lever which by which you can even rack in and rack out. So to rack out. You have to go anti-clockwise. To rack in, it should be clockwise. So right now the breaker is connected. So and you will want to rack out. So we go to anti-clockwise. Start running. And meantime, you see here position indicator is coming down. This is anti-clock position. <laughs> Then we have the disconnect. Put it back. So now a person is doing the maintenance. You want to restrict that nobody should be able to come, rack in and switch on. You can put a pad off. This this will get the mechanism. Now nobody will be able to access the ACD panel. So for example, you want to take this breaker. You want to keep it somewhere to do some maintenance, so you can back up. And you can see there how the shutters are closed. So these shutters are actually connected to the bus bar terminal, which may be light, right? Especially the incoming side of the car, because every time you cannot shut down the transformer. Usually the transformer will be energized. You are doing the maintenance, okay? So you will record the breaker. Shutter will close automatically. Even accidentally, if you drop something here, it's not going to touch the main panel. So this is it, and then we can take the AC wherever we want. This is the mechanism. You can see the terminal has the tracing. This mechanism already has the tracing. Then we put it back. Now this breaker is fully connected. So there is a uh, mechanism. This breaker is motorized. It has the motor also. Like whenever you need any operation, so this motor will charge the ECD automatically. So for example, due to some reason, your petrol supply is not available. You want to manually check the ECD whether it is working or not working. You can charge this ECD man mechanically also. So for this one, first you have to charge the spring. Ah, yes. Okay. So this has to be brought down nine times. Nine. So now the spring is fully charged. You are ready for the operation. Okay. So you can close the breaker. If it is closed, when there is a power available, electrical. This thing will be happening electrically. 
because for electrical operation to have electrical open close push button mm. manual mode for automatic mode this will open close automatically but we are talking about the mechanical operation so this was the mechanical operation for the breaker now we uh, for the safety we have a mechanical interlock between these two breakers also because once there is a problem your generator breaker should not close if the generator breaker also close it is finished so electrically this protection is taken care by the ads this automatic switch will not allow this breaker to close if our the main cover is closed even if you are in any mode manual mode or bypass uh, bypass like auto mode or like you not be able to lock on so for example if your electrical interlock is not working like i said you don't have the control yes. supply you want to check mecha mechanical yeah? we have the mechanical protection so now i close that breaker i will charge this acb i will try to close this breaker on you see this breaker is fully charged i cannot close because this one why because that breaker is closed so now i'll open, open that breaker now i can close this one. okay so this is the yeah. mechanical yeah. interlock so first you have electrical then you have the mechanical so it will give you as a backup code so now by all means there, there is no chance of parallel so we don't have synchronization here so that is from karma this is from generator so this will give us a safety this is the mechanical interlock electrical interlock will verify in the functional test okay it's very simple the reposition then you have to make it off and reset and then again it comes so there is a manual provision also to trip the breaker from here this one recommended by the manufacturer that you should trip the breaker to this mechanism like half a year so this is uh, done during the matter so we will provide this information in our operation and maintenance manual as well and then this breaker we have the arc leakage protection as well So if there is any arc fault in the uh, outgoing feeder, this will check this breaker. Okay. This is our south north section, like water section, compartment. So here we have the fans for the exhaust. We have a doors there, so they will suck the fresh fresh air. So then we have the exhaust. This is our main incomer. It's ready to the contactor. Then we have the soft button. Then this will be our printer. So this function we will verify during the let's say function test. We will connect the test motor as I told, yeah. and then we will run it in the manual mode and the automatic mode. Then we will turn it off. So now we will make ready for the insulation and the high voltage test. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, so uh, the purpose of doing the IR is to verify the insulation. So we are doing the test between the phases. Okay. So first we will perform between the phases. Then we will perform between the phases and the neutral. Then we will perform between the phases and the arc. And then we will perform between the neutral and the arc. So we will to check. The insulation between the two phases. That both the phases are not getting short somewhere. Right. So this is also very good test. Like for example, if you are trying to give power to the system, it's very easy. You just do the IR and shows okay. Then you can proceed. It means there is no shorting. So right now he is doing. Which means one day, one day, one half can shift to five. This can be done as many. So you can see, he has set it to one kilovolt. This is the the unit which only injects DC. So we are injecting thousand volt. Uh, AC, you press the press button. Check it out.